All right, everybody. It's a great day, honey buns. Take your love vitamin. North Node Wednesday. Let's see what you need to know about your North Node. Um, what the Holy Spirit has for you. Take your love vitamin. All right, Holy Spirit. What do the, the collective or the divine feminine is going to know about their North Node? Holy Spirit. What do they need to know about their North Node? Mm. There is something that um, the Holy Spirit is telling you to let go of. Trust this process. I heard let go of resentment. It could be something that hasn't worked out for you, whether it be something pertaining to work, love, and or life. Walk away from the situation in order to resolve it. Just detach. Let go of it, of them. Let it go. Now, trust. You need to learn how to trust your intuition, not your emotions so much. Trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path. There's something about a career you need to let go of. Also, this could when you hold on to a job and the Holy Spirit has said your time is up, you can go ahead and expect some sort of turbulence. You can you can expect some sort of un, um, unsettling feelings, but you can also expect some sort of troubles behind it. Many of you all, your career path is changing. It's time for you to either become oracle teachers or oracle learners, or you just need to get some sort of oracle message and get some sort of confirmation for your life. Now, you are able to discern answers and guidance from yourself and others. So you have the ability to discern, just discern wisely. What is the Holy Spirit telling you to let go of? The, um, also, you see something that you're, that you're supposed to be doing. A job or and or a career does not serve your highest good. I highly encourage you to study your pinnacles, P-I-N-N-A-C-L-E, and see what pinnacle of life you're in. It'll also help you understand, okay, is it time for me to shift out of this career? Am I supposed to start something new? Because I hear a new project, a new assignment, a new foundation is being laid for you. A spiritual, a new spiritual foundation is going to bring about a new and um a new and firm physical foundation. All right, Holy Spirit, Divine Feminine, what do they need to know? This is also you working with others, um, learning how to work well with others. This is you mastering your craft, mastering your gift, mastering your um, abilities, becoming a master of your trade as well. Holy Spirit, Divine Feminine, North Note Wednesday, Holy Spirit, Divine Feminine. Something is meant to take you into the Queen of Pentacles energy. You have the anointing to be financially stable, financially secure, financially set. There is a new beginning. So something is starting off brand new. There absolutely have been many obstacles um, among this new journey, but you need to trust in what you don't um, see. That's why the Holy Spirit is saying, trust what you feel, your intuition. Now, starting a new life, finding your <clears throat> finding your purpose. This is your life call. This is your life purpose. This is your, mi your mission, your destiny. Also, guys, when you look up your life path, not your life path number, that'll help you as well. But when you look up your um, birth chart, look up what zodiac sign is in your north node. Study that north node and say, you know, Google, what type of careers am I supposed to um, work according? to a north node in uh pisces a north node in taurus a north node in cancer you know just google it until you get close enough to help you have more understanding also your life path number aligns you with suitable jobs suitable careers suitable businesses um that you are meant to be in alliance with so don't be afraid to use your ability to learn yourself to know your path and the right path for you so because something is your life purpose and it's playing peekable with you now a forgiving and compassionate review of the past some of you all there may be some people from your past you need to forgive whether it be someone that you were romantically involved with a family member and or friend this person served your highest good and your life purpose and the holy spirit is saying okay i need you to start over i need to do i need you to do a redo i need you to take this chance i need you to try this and do this for me because it's going to bring out a better you <clears throat> this is someone that's going to help you get aligned to who you are as the queen of pentacles to um be more kind more understanding more giving and develop your psychic abilities so follow your heart 
love of home and family. Some of you all, is something very specific with family businesses. It could be home businesses, home careers, um, work at home jobs like that. Trustworthy psychic information. Something you're meant to do is meant to take you to a place of stability. Now, I do want to say this because... It's just what it is. You have the ability to make over a hundred thousand, but many of you all have the ability to become millionaires. You have to work it. The Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of the Queen of Pentacles and the um, King of Pentacles are millionaires. They have millionaire callings, uh, millionaire potential, but they also have to make sure they have millionaire work ethics and characters and things of that nature. Now, here is the Knight of Gabriel. So, being very confident in who you are, very enthusiastic, you need that high vibrational energy, courageous, bold, go after it. Take time to take action. Now is the time. Great passion for a cause. You have a cause of doing something. Also, you understand the need of something. You understand something that's needed or highly recommended or wanted in the community. You could also be the next um, community activist in your um, particular area. Now, instinctively knowing just what to do. You already know what to do. The Holy Spirit is saying, go after it. Get it done. But you're going to have confirmation through your dreams. You also are going to start having more... Um, Tunnel visions. What's that other thing called? Deja vu. I see Raven Simone from when she was on the Cheetah Girls. And remember, she saw those prophetic visions and they would come to pass. You're going to start having that specifically about your life in the areas of work, in the areas of money, in the areas of family. And um, this could be family and friends, but I see, I see a heavy calling on your life for your family. You could be the person that's meant to be financially educated to go back and educate your people. It's not always becoming a millionaire or a billionaire or a person that makes hundreds of thousands of dollars to give it away because God is going to teach you how to learn something, to master something and go back and educate your family, go back and educate your business. But I see many things that you have been training to do for quite some time some of you all that you know you know you don't want to be entrepreneurs business owners and things like that the holy spirit is saying don't be afraid to level up those of you all that work in restaurants why are you not applying for assistant manager positions why are you not applying for management positions you're already doing the work you're not just a hostess i see amazing bartenders why are you not doing more with yourself marketing yourself to become more independent independently contracting with people who have have you know private parties i can be your personal bartender or i can create a staff that can come in and serve you there's some sort of service here that the holy spirit is saying they want you you know he wants you to provide so this is a new beginning it definitely can you know add to your pockets but it's definitely um highly activating your north node and pushing you further down the rabbit's hole all right holy spirit what does the collective need to know of the divine feminine for their north node Holy Spirit. It's some sort of vision you're going to see. Um, I heard Reiki just now as well. I, I, I also see like a seamstress, someone making like cloths. Oh, if anyone makes cloths like this right here and you can um custom make them with letters and words, give me, give me an email, honey. Email me. Um, I, I hear child care in my mind, like daycare. They're all the fifth house. Um, there could be some sort of something you recognize the community needs um, for the future, for children. Understanding certain placements. Also, your focus place of where you need to create, a, if you, especially this, this would be for a business owner, a certain business you need to create for a certain age group um, of people. Holy Spirit. I see some of you, a lot, of, a lot of people wanting to collaborate with you. You want to be mindful and protect your energy because there are leeches among you because you have the ability to make money. You are a money magnet and you're a money magnet because you are a knowledgeable magnet. You also going to have the ability not only to invent, reinvent yourself. Holy Spirit. All right, slow down. <laughs> 
Somebody is going to get, it could be a speeding ticket physically, or this is something you're going too fast. You could be working too much, going too fast and not taking your time to make sure that everything is in the right order and or man manner. Now, there are some legal issues here that are coming up, could involve child support or being served jail time. So be on the lookout for that. That could be pertaining to you um, in a situation or and or a situation that revolves around you. See here, these side hustles, especially those of you all, you know, you're working working a job and you feel like you need to do more is something you want to do t-shirt business I, I saw headbands just now bracelets what you want to do is moonlight you work your job and you at your job and you you know you create a specific time for your side hustle and you go after it and your side hustle turns into your next business your next project your next venture um the holy spirit is saying save up haste is waste don't overly spend don't emotionally spend save up for a rainy day Yep, penny pension. So you could be penny pension right now, and the Holy Spirit is saying that's okay. Or you need to penny pinch. Don't overexpend. Also, stop spending this big money on this lunch. Forty. I I saw forty dollar meals and sixty dollar meals for lunch. Break that up. Break somebody needs somebody needs to do their budget over budgeting is here. Essential worker, you have a calling. You could be in the uh, medical field. It could also, typically it's a medical field, I think. But you are an essential worker, something that will always have a high demand of having needs for people like you. So that may also involve you going to school, taking up a trade, getting some sort of certification, having some sort of credentials for this. Bam, your 10th house. Your 10th house is being activated. And this governs, you know, public image. You becoming a public image, a professional um, person that um, that educate people, um, make people more knowledgeable. This is a part of your career. Also, your achievements. Now, some of you all need to get ready and get prepared because you got to go back to school. You Yeah, you got to go back to school. And this is going to change. Some some of y'all, your your career path is changing. Um, there may be some shift. There may be some adding on and or taking away. Some of you all, it's just going to change. Period. Um, I highly also recommend that you go study your 10th house in your um, birth chart. And it'll show you things about your career uh, pertaining to your job. This also shows a legacy, Queen of Pentacles, creating a legacy, a firm foundation, and leaving something, not only in tangible things, but intangible things, knowledge. All right, Busy B, it's time to get busy. BB, <laughs> it's time to get busy. No time to play around. You have no time for games. Also, this is confirmation. Some of you all, you you already reading cards for relationships. You need to ask the Holy Spirit to give you confirmation when it comes to certain jobs, careers, and paths of money, finances also to become more stable. You're getting ready to overcome a very difficult financial time. I see for many of you all, if you um, follow certain steps, methods, and guides, some of you all can even become financial um, consultants. You all could become professional consultants as well, I see. Divine Feminine Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. This is a season of harvest, harvest right here. Now, here it is. Something that you've been working on or thinking about for a long time is getting ready to come to fruition. The 44 is all about financial abundance, financial legacy. Now, also the two, um, 48 breaks down to a three. This is where you need to express yourself. This could also be those of you all that are communicators needing to open up and get some sort of um, ethics training or take up a little career guide or just work up, work on your communication skill. This is also the third house, Gemini energy. So there's higher knowledge, higher power that you have that you got to tap into. Overall, here is the divine feminine, magnetic, receptive power. You have the power and many abilities to manifest the life, not only that you um, need, but that you desire. You have to put your hands to the plow. You can't sit back and complain and always expect um, something to come to you. You know, something comes from, you know, doing something that you've never done before. And this is going to be you taking a chance on you. Holy Spirit. Here is the light activation. Shine your light. Your internal guidance is coming from, is coming through 
um, loud and clear. So this is just confirmation for you. You already know a life force here. Express your drive and passion. The um, number three, you have something you need to express. There could it could be time for you to speak up and say, you know what, this job doesn't serve my highest good. I need to apply to go into a different department. I need to start looking because I'm not comfortable. I'm not happy here. I feel complacent. Also, you need something that's going to challenge you. Lastly, I knew it. Your ancestor spirit. Connect to your lineage. A family wound or pattern can be healed now. For many of you all, there are things that you dealt with from in your family, in your childhood. It could be a financial thing. It could be um where you don't where you're not accustomed to having consistency. It could be a thing where you feel like you're blocked mentally or knowledgeably or intelligently. All your ancestors are saying now is the time to connect with them so that they can heal that pattern that was broken. You know, sometimes that's also going against things that our parents taught us and taking other avenues, but you need to connect to your spiritual team to be able to see the Holy Spirit definitely is telling you expect a miracle. Remember that only love is real. Miracles will occur naturally. Spirit has your back. The Holy Spirit has your back in doing this. This is a heavenly yes. Go after it. Go after your dreams. Manifest them. Connect with like-minded people. That's your 11th house. Um, socialize with people that um, definitely are working on going places. You want to be careful how much time and energy you give to people that are stuck and stagnant in their life because they will end up pulling you down. It could be intentionally or accidentally. But someone here, you need more that makes you um passionate after going after life going after your dreams i see you have a lot of hopes a lot of ambition but you don't do anything with it a lot of potential how you going to close this out for the divine feminine holy spirit mm -hmm. relax free your mind let go you have to let go of something to get this prophetic blessing a north no blessing is a prophetic blessing um I see you're thinking of your divine counterpart. You need to ask the Holy Spirit more. Some of you all, you may have someone in your energy that's um that's showing up as a divine counterpart. You need to get more knowledge from that. Sh worry, stress, and anxiety. This is meant to be an obstacle in your life to keep you stuck, to keep you stagnant. Because of what? I told you, your anointing. This is the, the Boral and Miriam anointing over your life. You have the anointing to truly see things clearly. You have a purpose of life. It could also be your purpose in life and helping other people activate and recognize their purpose, true earth angel, um, un unorthodox, untraditional, unconventional earth angel magic. And also, I told you, Miriam, the prophet and anointing speaking the truth there's something that you see clearly that you need to speak it could be about life it could be about people in general it could be about yourself but you are anointed to do something very specific and the holy spirit is giving you the courage and the tenacity the boldness to go after your dreams you can expect the miracles when you put your hands to the plow you don't have to worry about lack um mega would be your portion peace and bless and great day i hope this helps love you all so much namaste